Hello students and welcome to Physics Pep Talk. E video dali na wo electromagnetic induction chapter in the AC generator mele wandu derivation usually kele kele tar for five marks. Ye na derivation andre uh, right derive the expression for instantaneous EMF induced in an AC generator. So wanda e question barate illa andre motional EMF question barate derivation ke five marks ke. Er dalu wandu pakka. Okay na. First, what do you mean by a AC generator? AC generator is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. And then, I will AC generator mechanically work that mechanical energy will be converted into electrical energy. Example, AC generator get dynamo. Cycle will use more of the new node. If you want to use new cycle, you will light, light glow because of this AC generator. So, on what principle does this AC generator works? It works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. Okay, na? A principle it kondu, idu work agathe. So, yuvaga construction in the start mark AC generator consists of a rectangular coil A, B, C and D having n number of turns. Andre A, B, C, D anna ondu rectangular coil idhe. Idhikke n number of turns idhe. This is actually the armature. Okay. This rectangular coil is placed between the poles of a, two poles of a strong magnet. Now, the north pole is the south pole. This is the poles of this rectangular coil. Place. The end of this rectangular coils are connected to two rings called as slip rings. Slip rings and other connect matter TV. Slip rings do Kelsa in and when I rotate this rectangular coil, okay. Avaga coil the end to rotate agatha. A end in an hour slip rings get connect matter TV with respect to this rectangular coil. Even the slip rings also rotate. Ita eladru nano slip rings but lo direct agi wire connect matter dre. It rotate at the action wire on the conduct suit condo cut tag but other self put again to avoid that. We are using slip rings. The end of the slip rings are connected to two carbon brushes. Carbon brushes are fixed. This is the movement. Slip rings rotate. This is carbon brushes fixed. This is slip rings. This is fixed. 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 For that, we are using carbon brushes. Carbon brushes na amele wire ge connect mad buto. A wire in the nau bekare bulb bekadru kut kolbo do. Atwa vandu resistor na connect mad bodo. Yen adru use mad bodo across a load where the potential can be measured. So this is the construction of this AC generator. Let me assume that this rectangular coil has an area of A. A is to area the rectangular coil. Aita let the strength of the magnetic field of this two pole magnets is B in the nano. Assume mark called tithing. Now I will rotate this handle of the rectangular coil with the angular velocity omega. Angular velocity omega is the angular velocity. Angular frequency is angular velocity. It hangir at the Imagine mark called the I will consider this as the north pole of the magnet. I will consider this as the south pole of the magnet. Now, the magnetic field lines are north pole to south pole. Correct? Now, the magnet is the electric field lines. That is B. Now, I will keep this as the rectangular coil. A, B, C, D is the coil. This is the area vector that will be normal to the surface. So, now this area vector will make an angle theta with the direction of the magnetic field. Now, from the basic definition of angular frequency, first you will call the basic definition of angular frequency, omega is nothing but theta by t. It's a change in angle to the of the time taken. Okay. From this, I can write what is theta. Theta is equal to omega t. So, I will call this as equation 1. Anything to hold in the next to go. Now, by the definition of flux linking with this rectangular coil, it is nothing but B dot A. Correct. Magnetic field into the area of the rectangular coil. This will be B A dot product now open madhre B A cos theta agathe. Correct. You have theta jagdal nine in the omega t in the This becomes B A cos 
omega t. Adre, this is the magnetic flux for one turn. One turn of the coil. Adre, I have rectangular coil in this turn. N number of turns. Ide. So, the total flux phi will be equal to N B A cos of omega t. I will call this as equation 2. From Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction, the induced EMF E will be equal to minus d phi by dt. Correct. Minus d by dt of what is the value of phi? It is n b a cos omega t. Correct. So, either the constant n in the number of turns of the coil or the fixed then change. Agala. So, other than hangover coltini. You have a magnetic field strength. Throughout the experiment are the same irutte. Hagagi B nu constant aga irutte. Area of the rectangular coil change ago de illa. So, ivaga D by DT of cos of omega T. So, differentiation of cos theta. We know that D by D theta of cos theta is equal to sin theta. Anta nanage guttu. Minus sin theta. Nane confused maad kom mutti Okay. Now, what will be the induced EMF E? minus n b a you have a differentiation of cos omega t it is minus sin omega t into omega with respect to t tane maartta irado so next this becomes so minus aache thagondra minus into minus becomes plus n b a omega e omega no aache thagoltini sin omega t okay this is the instantaneous emf adre no dili n nu constant to b nu constant to a nu constant to angular velocity nu constant andre angular velocity indra nan ivaga 10 rounds per minute eno ond constant agi ittkon rotate maartta idini ankole adu constant alva so this will be equal to i'll write this as e not e not is nothing but the maximum value of the induced emf in the rectangular coil so now the induced emf e will be equal to e not sin omega t and this is the required expression for the instantaneous emf that is generated that is induced in a ac generator idu derivation iradu aita similarly if they ask for induced current i will be equal to if i i will assume that uh, uh, the rectangular coil has a resistance of r and the assume madkoltini so instantaneous current i will be equal to instantaneous voltage by resistance this will be nothing but e naught sin omega t by r and this is the required expression for instantaneous current in an ac generator keledre matra idil tanka maadi illa andre illi tanka saaku neevu matte ee sin wave na bari adanna miss maadabardu neevu ac voltage anta bari adanna output alli ad miss maadidre marks kalkolo probability nu iruthe so ivaga sin wave heng barutte anta ondu sanna dage explain maadti so, we know that E is equal to E naught sin omega t. Right. This is main depend on instantaneous voltage on sin omega t value. If omega t is equal to 0 degree, then E will be equal to 0. Sin 0 agate, so 0. So, if omega t is equal to 90 degree adre, sin 90 becomes 1. So, E will be equal to E naught. Similarly, omega t, Ivaga 90 aito. next to 180 agathe. 180 li yen agathe value of e sin 180 0 so matte idu 0 agathe. next omega t value 270 degree aitha pa avaga what will be the value of e that will be sin of 270 is minus 1 so minus e naught agathe. similarly matte omega t 360 degree aadre avaga yen agathe e value e value will be again be equal to 0 so, now I will plot a graph of EMF along y-axis and time along x-axis. With respect to time, angle change acta then. Now, rotate maartta rectangular coil. Avaga angle galo 0, 90, 180, 270, 316 change acta then. So, now if I plot. So, 0 ge epsilon ht to, uh, sorry, E value ht to induced EMF ho 0 ne ito. So, 90 degree ho daga. E value maximum I to illo maximum I to matte 180 bantakshna matte 0 I to matte 270 kotakshna negatively maximum value hoito correct matte 360 degree bantakshna matte induced EMF 0 I to now when I plot 
the traces of this dots i will get a sine wave like this this is nothing but a ac signal so that's it for this video guys if you like my efforts please do like share comment and subscribe this is your teacher naga varana signing off with a smile i will meet you guys in the next video till then bye